Hello, in this video, we will present a case study on finding the directory size. In the preceding videos, we introduced how to write recursive functions. We used examples for finding factorials, for finding Fibonacci number, for binary search, uh, for selection sort, for the uh, Penningel problem. All those problems actually can be solved without using recursion. Without using recursion, you can solve all these problems easily. But now, in this video, we're going to present a problem that is inherently recursive. It will be difficult to solve the problem without using recursion. So this is the kind of problem we are going to apply recursion for. Finding the directory size, this is the directory. We want to find the size. We're going to look at all the files under the directory, then all the subdirectories under the directory. For each subdirectory, we do the same thing to find the size. We're going to add all the size together. So this is the size add together. So this problem is recursive in nature. So this is structurally, it's recursive. This is directory and subdirectory is a directory. You can apply the same approach to find its size. So here's the idea now. In the implementation, we're gonna look at in Python. So you need to use this os.pass and is file to determine whether this is the item here is a file or a directory. And using this os.pass get size, the file name, return the size of the file. And use os.list directory to list, to return a list that consists of all the subdirectories and the files under the directory. So with all this, it's easy to write this program now. So we're going to write this program this way here is in the main, we prompt the user to enter a directory or a file, and then we're going to invoke get size pass. So get size pass is we get the size is zero. And now eventually we're going to return the size. So how do we find it? So look at this, the pass here, you enter this pass, is this pass a file? So if it's not a file, we are going to get all its components on the, the directory. So this is os.list directory, get it. And then for every subdirectory, we're going to find its directory. So using guess size, and here is the subdirectory under this path here and we're gonna add it to the total size. Now, if this path is a file, so we can simply get the size and using this. So this is the uh, best case for the recursion here. So once we know this item is a file, so we're going to get the size added to the total size. So what you're doing is so this is due for everything. And then for the size here, it returns the size. That is all for this case study on finding directory size. See you on the next video.